Is this a beautiful sight or what? It warms my heart in each and every time we do it, as I know it does the other members of the group. The fact is that all of us are band students, you all know that. We all started back in elementary school, in the school band, and we, we were inspired by our band directors, our, our private teachers, uh, performers we heard or met along the way, and in some cases, they may have had words of encouragement for us, which meant the world to us. And, and so it's a big part of our mission, our major part of our mission, to, to reach out wherever we go to students and, and try to help inspire them, along with what their band directors are doing each and every day, to, to love music. I think one of the most important messages we have for the students is to realize that you don't have to make a career out of music in order to continue playing your whole life. I talked about that at the clinic today. I compared it to golf. How many people make a living playing golf? But millions of people play golf and they love it with a, and they play you know, with such passion. And music certainly can be the same way. You can play in community groups, church groups, start your own little bands. Uh, there are so many different options. So it certainly doesn't have to stop once, uh, once you're uh, out of school and that sort of thing. So in the meantime, we've got the um, West Tonka uh, concert band, right? Who's in the concert band? Is it concert band? Okay. And also symphonic band, right? So we've got a com combination, good, of two different bands here, um, and they range from all the way from eighth grade to twelfth grade, right? Is it, do I have that right? Who are the eighth graders? Fantastic, good for you. That's great. All right. Well, Gretchen, yeah, please. Gretchen, please enter. This is Gretchen Chilson. You all know that she's a wonderful educator. Um, to be associated with uh, you and your school and, and the fact that, I don't know if they know the story that we called you a couple months ago, and normally we plan these concerts like a year in advance, and we called her a couple months ago and said we have this one night open, and are you interested? And she's got a crazy busy week this week, but she said we will do it, we can do it, and, and here we are, so thank you for, for making that happen. Absolutely. All right. On to the show. So we talked about Henry Mancini, the great film composer from the 50s and 60s. We have so many great film composers nowadays, but one man is especially prolific, and his name is John Williams. It started back in the days of the Cowboys, he wrote that one, Jaws, Superman, Superman Indiana Jones. Raiders, Indiana Jones, Hook, Hook E.T., Home Alone, Harry Potter, Peter Pan, it goes, Lincoln Schindler, so it goes, we could spend the rest of the night making John Williams films, but somehow nothing ever seems to top Star Wars.
Chicago Concert and Symphonic Band. He's considered by many to be the father of American musical theater. And in fact, his statue uh, stands in, at uh, Times Square in New, in New York City, um, overlooking Broadway, much like Miss Liberty overlooks New York Harbor. And, um, and George M. Cohen was a great patriot as well. He was born in Providence, Rhode Island in 1878 on July the 3rd. But he claimed to have been born the next day on July the 4th, right? You know the lyrics, right? I'm the Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle do or die, a real life nephew of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July, right? So that was his great claim. Cohen was such an inspiration to our troops back during World War I that President Franklin Roosevelt awarded him the Congressional Medal of Honor. Never before had that been given to anyone in an artistic field. It typically went to politicians and scientists and, 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 and so forth. And In fact, George, uh, George Washington was the first recipient of the Congressional Medal of Honor. But Cohen was given that and certainly deserved it for songs like you just heard, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy and you're a grand old flag. Okay, so we're in the patriotic spirit and we're gonna continue that way for, uh, for a bit here. And this is the uh, West Tonka Wind Ensemble. And uh, they range from ninth grade to 12th grade. Who are the ninth graders? Raise your hands high, real high, yep. Yeah. Beautiful, okay, just a handful, 10th graders. Nice, juniors. Very good. You can only vote once, right? Okay. <laughs> and if I may have a drum roll, please. Our distinguished senior class. And you may stand. Senior stand, please. Uh, did you hear Ryan's little serenade? Play it again, Ryan. It'll be here before. 
before you know it. <laughs> All right. Well, we are, as I say, we're going to do a wonderful patriotic salute for you right now. Uh, this was arranged by our good friend John Watson, who runs a lot of our arrangements and original compositions. It's called American Tableau. I have the distinct honor of conducting the ensemble this evening. And there is a little bit of audience participation as well, and I'll cue you when that time comes. This is American Tableau.
Rock Ensemble.